was going to be a spread out type game. They were going to try to get the ball over the park on us. And uh, I thought a combination of the rush and the uh, secondary and underneath play was good. Yeah, you mentioned the rush. It seemed like a few of those picks were kind of easy. Do you think the pass rush really helped out the secondary in that one? Uh, I felt like what I could see uh, on the sideline it did. Um, that's why I continued to stay with the four-man rush to have pressure on a lot. I wanted to let the secondary kind of cover and, and uh, do what we felt was uh, necessary at the time based on what the score was. Um, but yeah, I thought the rush was good. And, you know, I got to see it on tape and make sure how that looks. But you know, the rush lanes could have been better at times, but for the most part, it's pretty consistent. What was the strategy with the coverage changing up in the second half? Uh, you know, it was just kind of wanted to see what their plan was. I figured they would spread us out and try to come out throwing the football. Uh, that's what they do, and, and uh, they play a lot of four wide receiver set, a lot of empty. Uh, and so, you know, we employed six defensive backs, uh, which was a new package for us and that we'll continue to develop. What has Christian Rucker done to force You know, he's, he's been in the right spot at the right time. He's played three different positions for us. Uh, he's kind of a jack of all trades. Uh, but he, uh, you know, he understands the scheme, understands the system, and, um, you know, he's, he's an expand up mentality with uh, Porter being out. He's done a nice job from what I can tell you. We preach it all the time, and you know, turnover is something uh, we made a big emphasis on in the off season. Uh, you know, as much as we can get our offense the ball back, the better, the best place for us is on the sideline. So as much as we can be over there, which means winning on first down, getting off the field on third down, and great turnovers. Well, we got to win. So, uh, you know, some guys stepped up, really excited about the way YK played. Uh, he came in the nickelback position and played a lot for us. You know, Matt Lopes came in and played safety for us. Uh, he hasn't played much, and, and from what I can see, he did a really good job kind of running the show in the back in a 6 DB package. What do you thought of the maturity of YK from last year, just how much he's developed maybe in the last season? Yeah, I think uh, he's, he's become a student of the game. I think he uh, understands the system better. Um, being in the same system two years in a row is helping him. Uh, and he puts the time in. He realizes that you can't just show up and play. He's got to do the work to uh, study his opponent, study the game plan, and be able to execute. And really why he hasn't been on the field uh, more is because we've had some other guys executing at a high level. And today he played because of injury uh, to a Jane A and seems to have done a nice job. Do guys like him and Rector kind of force you to, you know, get them in there a little bit more when those when everybody does get healthy? Well, you know, nobody loses their position because of injury. That's that's our philosophy. So uh, when when a Jane is ready to go, a Jane will get his job back. But of course, YK uh, had got valuable experience today, and he's going to have to help us as the year goes on. So what were some of the adjustments that you made at, at, at halftime? The second half. Of yeah, we, we kind of felt like that uh, the first half, um, you know, we were going to show a lot of different coverages to the quarterback, and uh, they were they started working away from our uh, uh, zone coverage a little bit and our man coverage actually, and sat down in some throwing lanes, and and so we played a little tighter coverage and mixed up a little bit more zone in the second half. So uh, it was kind of like. The first half coverage has invited certain things, and so then we're able to make adjustments at halftime and, and uh, go, to, go to kind of our counterpunch, so to speak.